Hey everybody, my name is Kyle A. King K. and Worm. And first off, I want to wish everybody out there a happy new year. I wish you all the best in 2014. I wish that all your dreams come true this year. Today I want to talk about the number one reason why we don't go after our dreams. And that reason is the fear of failure. I know somebody out there just said, preach my brother. <laughs> well, here you go. You ever wonder why whenever you plan on going after your dreams, starting something new or doing something different, period. The only things the devil puts in your mind is why it didn't work last time, how you've tried a million times and failed, and the million reasons why it's gonna fail. Then we start to think about all the other people we know that have more money than us, more connections than us, but tried and failed. Now let me tell you something. In the same way we let the devil feed our minds with all the reasons why it's not going to work, we can also tell our minds all the millions of reasons why it will work. Yeah, person A started that clothing line that nobody knows about. Yeah, I've taken my board exam two times and failed every time. It's okay. Try, try, and try again. One of the main things to think about is what will other people say about me? What if I put out that song and then it flops? What will everybody say about me? What if I go take that board exam again and I fail? What will everybody say about me? What if I start that clothing line and nobody hears about it? What will everybody say about me? Why do we always think about what everybody would say about us? Do you think if Bill Gates was thinking about what everybody would say about him, he would have started Microsoft? Do you think Steve Jobs, if he was thinking about what everybody would say about him, would have started Apple? No. Stop thinking about what everybody has to say about you and focus on what you have to do. Because you know the funny thing I realized? Whether you do good or you do bad, everybody will still have something to say about you. So you have to remove the everybody factor and put in the factor of what I have to do. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power. What does it mean to have power? With power, we could conquer things. With power, we could do things. So step out and do it. Don't let fear keep you in the same place that you've been 2013, 2012, and 2000 and whatever. Break out. Move forward. See, the bottom line of life is we are all different. We are all unique. And God's time plays a huge factor in every step of our life. So who knows if today is the right time? And you will never know if you don't break out of fear and move. This is a new year, 2014. We all have 12 months to work with, so don't waste one more month. And guess what? If you do it again and it fails, you stand up, you brush it off, and you try, try, try again. And please don't forget me when you get there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching again this week. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Don't forget to tune in next week and be blessed. Have a great day. My name is Kyle A, King K, and Worm. Peace.